how to use ChatGPT for free real estate marketing. Hey everybody, Katie Lance here, and I don't know about you, but I love free marketing. You don't have to spend a whole lot with your marketing, and in this video, I'm gonna share three ways that you can use ChatGPT to generate free marketing ideas, especially if you're in real estate. Let's go. Tip number one, create unique buyer or seller quizzes or polls. Yes, quizzes or polls. Now you might be wondering why, why is this important? Well, let me tell you why this is important. When it comes to your content on social media, one of the best types of content that you can post to get engagement, to get interaction, is to ask a question, to add, to do a poll, to do a simple quiz. People love to answer polls. People love to answer simple quizzes. And oftentimes I find a big mistake a lot of agents make with their marketing is a lot of the marketing is either promotional or just educational. Now promotional marketing are things like your listings, just listed, just sold, testimonials, and that's important. That's an important piece of your marketing. Educational content, also super important, right? Where you're educating uh, consumers on your market area and buying and selling. But the other piece of that, kind of the third piece of that, and sometimes this falls in sort of the entertainment part of your content, is content that's engaging, that's interesting, that's not just you talking, but you asking a question. So if you've never done this before, you can go into ChatGPT and if you haven't created a free account yet with ChatGPT, you can do that through chat.openai.com. And once you've done that, you can go in and you can say, hey, I'm a real estate agent in San Francisco, California. I'm looking to create some fun, interactive quizzes or polls that I can post to my Instagram or Facebook. What ideas do you have for me? And you're gonna see lots of fun, creative ideas that it's come up with. Some of those you could use, again, for posts. You can use some of those for stories. Some of those might be graphics that you create with Canva, or they might just be as simple as quick stories that you post to your Instagram stories and you have people uh, answer a question or use that poll feature. So really fun, creative, and guess what? It's free. Tip number two, use ChatGPT to draft interesting questions for interviews for your videos or podcasts. A lot of you have reached out and have asked about doing video content where you're interviewing someone else, which I think is a great idea. One of the ways to grow your social media is to shine the light on somebody else, right? Think of all the people that you work with, lenders, stagers, photographers. Think of all the people in your local network, your favorite ha uh, hairstylist, your favorite boutique owner, your favorite restaurants, all the people that, uh, and organizations that you interact with. Maybe you're part of Rotary club, you're part of your local little league, whatever it might be, there's a big opportunity to shine the light on those folks in your local community. So you might be interested in doing some interviews where you're interviewing those folks. Now you can certainly do that in person. I actually love to do interviews via Zoom because typically it's a lot easier for people. They're at home or they're in their office. You're at your home office. You're on your computer. We all know how to, how to use Zoom. It's quick. It's easy. You can do a quick call, record it, and now you've got a video that you can upload to just about any platform. But the key is you want to ha you want to be prepared for that interview, right? So I do this all the time. We have a podcast, by the way, if you don't follow our podcast, it's the Katie Lance podcast. And with our podcast, if we are doing any kind of interviews, one of the things I've done is I've gone into ChatGPT and I've said, you know, I'm Katie Lance and I put a little information about me. I have a podcast about this and we're interviewing so-and-so. Can you come up with five to 10 compelling and interesting questions? And let me tell you, this has been a huge time saver. So it'll come up with some great questions. Of course, just like anything, we're gonna read them over. We're not just gonna use them verbatim, but it's a great starting point, right? So now you're organized, now you can look at those, have, a, have an idea what you're gonna talk about. You can also send those to your guests ahead of time. Maybe put those copy and paste and put them in, in, in an email. Again, make sure you don't just blindly copy and paste, add in your own personality, make sure that they are a fit for what you wanna accomplish. Send those to your guests so now they're gonna feel prepared and you're good to go. Tip number three for creating free marketing through ChatGPT, and this is to create neighborhood guides. So if you're a real estate agent, you've probably heard this before, and that is like lo being local is everything. The riches are in the, are in the niches, right? And it's really easy for an agent to say, yeah, I serve this, this area, right? It's usually a, a big market area. And even though you might serve that whole area, most likely you are really an expert at specific neighborhoods. And one of the ways to really grow your business is to create some great neighborhood guides. These are guides that you can put up on your website. These are guides that you can share to social media. These are guides that you can run Facebook ads to, to generate leads and generate business. But sometimes there's a lot of confusion about actually how to create these. And ChatGPT can do this for you absolutely free. You can go into ChatGPT and you can say something like, I'm a real estate agent in this city, this town. I'm looking to create a really helpful neighborhood guide that I'm gonna turn into a PDF. Please come up with some additional ideas of what to include in this neighborhood guide. And of course, ChatGPT is gonna go great. It's gonna come up with 
whatever you've asked it for. It'll probably come up with some different ideas, maybe locations, uh, and it's going to create something for you. Now, it's not gonna create the graphics part of you, but it's going to create what I think is probably one of the hardest parts, which is all the text, right? So it's gonna create that text, and honestly, I would probably start with creating two or three neighborhood guides. Pick your two or three uh, you know, biggest niches that you really focus on. Once you've gotten that text, I recommend copying and pasting that, probably put it into a Google document. Again, look it over, double check, make sure that it's not violating anything with fair housing or any uh, in inherent biases. Add your own personality, your own flavor. Uh, you might even include maybe a, an example or a story of clients you've worked with in that, in that neighborhood, things that are specific to that neighborhood. Then you can take that and go into Canva. And I was just in Canva recently, and when you go into Canva and under templates, if you search real estate flyer, you're gonna come up with some really great flyer templates, which typically are just for houses, right? Just listed, just sold. But those templates you can absolutely use for neighborhood guides. You just have to get a little creative. You can click on any one of those templates and where you see pictures of houses, you can upload pictures of that community, of that neighborhood. And then where you see the text blocks on that template, you can take that text that you've taken from ChatGPT and plug that in there. And then download it as a PDF and you're good to go. Uh, and there's lots of things that you could do with that. Again, you could actually turn that into a graphic that you post to social media. You could do a story on Instagram and say, hey, I have a brand new neighborhood guide about XYZ neighborhood, comment below, send me a message and I'll send you that guide. So what I love about neighborhood guides too is they are somewhat evergreen or timeless, meaning they're a piece of content that you can point to and talk to, you know, maybe once a month over the course of 12 months or even every other month. Uh, they are relevant today, but they're also relevant uh, throughout the year. So there you go. Those are three easy and absolutely free things that you can do with ChatGPT. I would love to hear from you. What are you using ChatGPT for? Let me know the number one thing you're using it for in the comments below. And good news, we have a brand new ChatGPT masterclass that I am so fired up about. It is remastered for 2024. We'll make sure to put that link below uh, because if you're really looking to take your ChatGPT to the next level with real estate, you're not gonna wanna miss that. So check that out. Also, if these videos have been helpful for you, we'd love if you'd hit the bell button and the subscribe button uh, as we have new videos that come out each and every week and your support means the world. All right, thanks everyone. Can't wait to see what you create with ChatGPT. Bye for now.